Hello ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you are well. My name is Decryption. In many games, you'll have some sort of morale system. Games like Prototype, Crackdown, Infamous, Fable. If you do certain deeds, you will get certain benefits or disadvantages. So for example, if I went around butchering loads of NPCs, in a game such as Fable, you will have a very bad rating, almost a morale system. Whereas if you helped everybody and did all the best you can, then you might have a positive morale system and that morale would change aspects of the world. And I'm going to show you how to do it today. Now, if you've watched my previous tutorial on creating relationships with each, M each NPC, then you'll see this is going to be very, very similar, but there will be some minor differences which we're going to cover today. So I have this NPC here currently that when you speak to her, you can basically do some quests with her, except if you say she smells, then you'll get a negative rating, then you can apologise and get it back again. But what I want the ability to do is if I go around killing people, then I will have a negative morale. And if I have a negative morale, then she won't let me deal with her. And it all starts by editing your player. So on the player, I'm going to add a new variable under here called morale. And you can really call this anything you want. I believe Fable calls it alignment. I'm just going to set it to an integer, like so. And I'm going to make it visible so we can edit it later. So I'm going to start off with bog standard, zero morale. Nobody knows who you are. They don't know if you're good. They don't know if you're bad. They might be wary to trust you, but you can really do anything you want with it. So now we need ways to affect the morale. So I'm going to come to my NPC and I'm going to edit them. And I'm going to go to the base NPC. And I'm just going to close them real apparently. So we'll start it back up. And now that I'm in my NPC, I'm going to create a new variable down here called morale effect on death. And I'm going to set it to an integer. And what this is going to do is when this character dies, they're going to affect the morale in a specific way. So for the majority of NPCs, I'll just leave it to zero. If you kill them, it doesn't matter. Because they might be bad, but they also might be good. And then on my event on damage, where, where the enemy gets attacked, and I calculate the health, and then I state that they have died here, I can now add in a module here, which basically says, this character has died, affect the player's morale. So I'm going to come and create a new function called effect morale and i will get the player pawn cast to the bp player then i'm going to come and create a function inside the player called update morale like so and inside here we're going to take an input which will be the new value and i will come into my player and i'll create a function called update morale here i will take give it an input of the new value of morale we need to add like so and then I can just do my morale effect here, right? Add to it the current value, then I set the morale to that. And it's useful to have it in a function here because then we can update the UI afterwards if we really wanted to. But for now, I'm just going to print out morale updated to and it'll say 10 or minus 10 or something. There we go. So now on this NPC, we can just simply call update morale and then I can drag in the morale on death there. Now, one small tweak we're going to do for performance reasons is we're going to drag all this off to the side like there. And I'm just going to simply add a branch here, which does a check there first. And this branch will say if we actually need to affect the morale on death, because if we don't need to affect it, it's entirely pointless calling the player, casting to it, and then updating the UI and everything when we don't need to, like so. And then all I'm going to do is come back across to where my NPC dies here, and I'm just going to drop in the affect morale function here, like so. And it's that simple. So now I can come and then I can start the game. And you'll see when I start the game, you can see my morale is currently zero. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I'm not a bad person. If I come up and start randomly killing NPCs, nothing will happen because they don't have a morale to affect. So if I stop it and then go, actually, these three here, these, these are pretty important characters. So if I kill them because they're not bad guys, I can basically come to the morale here and I can say every time I kill them, I'm going to get a minus one morale because they're, they're civilians. They've done nothing wrong. And now if we begin the game and we run up to the NPC here and we shoot him, morale has been updated to minus one. Minus two, minus three. There we go. So now we can negatively affect our morale. But what if we've got a bad guy instead? So you can see here, I have an NPC bandit here. They're a bad guy. So I'm going to say, if you, if you kill them, you get a one morale. Now, you might not want this on every single NPC because otherwise you're going to fluctuate your morale every single time you launch your sword. However, if I come over now and shoot him, bang, my morales are updated to one somebody likes me but then i can just come away and get rid of the morale like so i've got zero morale again perfect so now that our morale updates we need a way to show it in the world so in fable you get 
uh, I believe devil horns if you're a negative person or an angel circle thing if you're a good person or you have good morale. So let's try and implement that. So I'm gonna come here and create a new function called update morale costume like so. And in the update morale, I'm gonna come and update morale costume. And the reason I'm doing it this way is you may have loads of different character models that you want to affect. And if you have a base class like me, then you won't be able to do that. But since I have added the function, it means I can now come to the functions here and I can override the update morale costume like so. It will call the parent, which will run anything generic we want it to do, which is in here. But for my specific player, now I can start doing things I need to on this ancient guy here. So the first thing I want to do is the little angel head thing. So I'm going to click my mesh and I'm going to add a static mesh like so. And I'll just add a cylinder. I'm going to parent the socket to his head so it always follows his head socket. And then I'm going to adjust the size to 0.01 like so. And I'm just going to tap the little thing at the top and untick real time because it's, it's annoying to try and adjust it while he's moving around. And there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down to my materials and I'm just going to dead quick create a material. Morale good glow, just like so. I'm going to drag from the base color. I'm just going to create a constant three vector. And I'm going to set this be very yellow, very bright yellow. And then I'm going to take from this, I'm going to multiply and I'm going to drag it into the emissive as well. And we'll set it to something like a hundred. So it'll be very glowy. So we want to know when we've done angelic good. And then back in the player where we've got that, I'm just going to drag in the material like so. So you'll see it's glowing because we've done very, very good. So what I'm going to come and do is untick start with tick enabled. I'm going to remove the collision to not cause any issues. I'm going to no collision there. I'm going to turn off navigation because we don't need it. And I'm going to turn off fixed up there. Perfect. And now all I'm going to do is just make it invisible as well, because we don't need it visible at this moment in time. There we go. And now update morale costume. This is where we can drag our morale in. So I'll get morale. And then this is where we can start doing our in-betweens. So I'll say in range of an integer. I will do an in range integer. I will drag off our good morale angel here and I will do set visibility and I will plug in the visibility here like so. So now this should make the angel helmet thing visible once we have a morale of 10 or 100. Now at the moment we can't get a morale of 10 or 100 because we don't have that much to do. So I'm just going to adjust the player to be on 9 and then I'm going to go and kill the bandit and that should call the angelic code and then grant access to the angel helmet thing. So now you see if we come and we kill them we now have an angel helmet because we're doing good. However, if we come back over and shoot somebody, oh no, we've lost our angel speaking thing. Perfect. And you can absolutely do it the other way as well and have incremental steps. So I could come to this morale good angel part here. I could duplicate it down and call it morale bad horns. I'm just going to make it visible so we can start working with it. I'm going to yet again bind it to the head socket like so. And I've just got some random thorn groups I've found. So if we just find all of them and make it red, there we go. And then what I can do is I can just shrink this down, place it on the player where it looks nice. There, so we have some nice horns. So if I make those invisible and then jump back to my update morale here. So between the angel one, we will duplicate this across. And instead of the morale good angel, we will instead add the morale bad horns. And then for the minimum, we will say minus 100 and the max will be minus 10. There we go. So now I can set my default morale to be minus nine. So you'll see I'll, I won't have angel the angel rings and I won't have the horns yet. And you will see if I now start coming butching NPCs, I will get the devil horns because I've been naughty. Perfect. And just as a little test, if I was to debug out of this, click this NPC and set his morale on death to be 100. When we run up and shoot him, it should grant us 100, remove the horns and give us an angel helmet because we've done very good. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is a super basic morale system for your game. You don't only have to affect the player's costume with this. You could completely affect anything in the world you'd like. So you could make things spawn. You could change the weather. You could even change people's dialogue by creating a condition that lets them not talk to you if you're naughty. Loads of stuff. You can make guards attack you. All it is is checking the player's morale, just like the relationships. I hope you liked it, ladies and gentlemen. If you've got any other ideas for tutorials, please let me know. Please like, comment and subscribe, and then we'll see you next time.